Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Bruna. Today, as you can see, we are going to be crocheting the trendiest cat ear hat slash beanie that is all over Pinterest and Instagram nowadays. And if you're a cat lover just like me, you're gonna love this tutorial and this beanie so, so much. And it's also super quick and easy to make. You can complete this crochet project in just a couple of hours. So I'm super excited to share this one with you. And if you wanna learn how to crochet this one, come along and let's do it together. So here's the material I'm going to be using for today's project, starting with the yarns that I'm using. Here I have the Bravissimo 50 in this beautiful burgundy shade. And also I have the Ringo yarn in which I'm going to be using double strand. So I'm going to be using two yarns at the same time to crochet with the Ringo yarn, all right? The Bravissimo yarn is going to be with only one strand for the Ringo, two strands. And if you wanna check this yarn out or purchase this yarn, I'm I'm going to be leaving the links in the description below as well as the shades for you if you are wondering what shades I'm using. And then for my tools I'm using a measuring tape, tapestry needle, four millimeters hook, small pair of scissors and also one stitch marker. So these are all the materials so now let's begin with the tutorial. So the very first thing you have to do before you start is to take your measuring tape and you're going to be measuring the circumference of your head. Just get the measuring tape, put behind your neck like this, and then just bring here at the front and then measure your head. So here we have what, 50? And then we have 56 in total. So once you have your head circumference measurement, now we can start our beanie. So the very first row I'm going to be doing will be with the burgundy. And also you want to make sure that your measuring tape is nice and flat here on the table so that we can measure this very first row. So we are going to be starting with a slip knot and we are going to be doing a double crochet foundation row. If you don't know how to do one, I'm going to be leaving a tutorial here where I show you in more detail. Um, in, in this video, I'm going to just show you quickly how to make it, but if you need more details on how to make this, a little bit slower, then check this little video out. Also, I'm going to be linking in the description. So after the slip knot, I'm going to be chaining four. And then I'm going to wrap the yarn around the hook. I'm gonna go into this very first chain. I'm going to then pull up a loop. Now you're gonna have three loops on the hook. You go into yarn over, pull through the very first one keeping that loop on the hook and then you go into yarn over and pull through two yarn over pull through two so here we have the first double crochet i'm going to get a little bit closer so you can see and when you look into this very first double crochet you're going to be having a little loop right at the end which was the first one that we've done so you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook again you're going to go into that loop right at the bottom the very first one that you draw and then you're going to pull up a loop right into that stitch and then you go into yarn over pull through one keeping that last one on the hook and then now from here you can do the double crochet so yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so here we have already the double crochets forming as you can see and by doing this you're going to be making the very first row already with the double crochet so you don't have to do the chain and the double crochets on top so this is already a two-in-one job so now you're going to keep on repeating that same step so you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook you're gonna go right into the loop the stitch right at the bottom of this double crochet you can see the stitch right here so wrap the yarn around the hook, go into that stitch, you're going to pull up a loop, keeping that on the hook. You can see this is the loop that we are getting right at the bottom. So you're going to yarn over, pull through one, keeping that last one on the hook. 
All right, you can see this is the loop that we are getting to create the foundation double crochets. And now you can create the double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All right, so this is what we are going to be doing for this very first part of the beanie. So here I have my foundation double crochet completed and I've done 58 double crochets in total. And you will be counting the chain three that it's right at the beginning as a stitch. And then I'm going to be measuring here for you first without stretching. So it's measuring 46 centimeters. And when I stretch, you want to make sure that you do stretch quite a bit because this yarn is quite stretchy. It reaches to 56 centimeters. Now you're going to get your foundation double crochet row. You're going to be putting around your head where you want your beanie to go, where the beanie is going to sit in your head. And you want to make sure that it goes around your head nicely, that it's not too tight or too loose and that both the end and the beginning join at the front, like this. Mine does, so now we can move on into the next step, which is crocheting the length of our beanie. So once you have it ready, make sure that you have your hook in place and you wanna move the end of this first row to this side and you wanna join here with the other side with the right side in this case. So you want to get the left side and you want to place it close to the right side. So the tail of the yarn is going to be right at the bottom so that this way you know that your work is not twisted. So do make sure that it's not twisted. It's going to look like this and also you want to make sure that you have the right side on the outside of the beanie. So now I'm going to get closer and show you what you're going to be doing next. So now to join both sides together, you're going to first create the first part of the foundation double crochet into the working part of the project here. And then you're going to be bringing the other side. You're gonna go just under this chain, there is a little stitch. So this one here, the first one you can find. And then you're going to be inserting your hook into that stitch. You're going to then pull up a loop and slip stitch into the very first loop that was on the right side. And now you're going to yarn over, pull through two, keeping the last two on the hook. And now we are going to be bringing the next shade so that we can start our beanie, the length of our beanie. Remember that I'm going to be using two yarns together at the same time because then it makes a little bit thicker. So have the yarn ready. So now you have something like this. Drop the burgundy, we will be back and use this one later. But for now we can just drop it here. And then you're going to be completing this double crochet with the yarn, the next shade you're going to be using. So go ahead and complete this double crochet like this. And then you're going to be releasing the end of the yellow yarn of the next shade we can weave in later. And then you're going to be slip stitching into the first stitch you can find. So we are going to be skipping the three chains. We are not going to be using this one. Go into the first stitch. So we have the double crochet here, the first stitch available of that double crochet. And then you're going to be from here, slip stitching and now we can start a new round. So the stitches that we are going to be working with will be the last double crochet. If you want, you can place a stitch marker into the last double crochet so that we know that this is the last one. And the first one is going to be the one that we did the slip stitch into. So we are going to forget about the chain three. We are not going to be using the chain three anymore. So to begin a next round, it's always going to be following this same step. We are going to chain one and then, and then into that same stitch where we did the slip stitch, we are going to be doing the very first double crochet. There we go. All right. And now into the next stitch, double crochet, and we are going to be doing double crochet into every stitch around. 
and we should have the same amount of stitches as the previous round so 58 stitches when you get at the end remove the stitch marker and into this stitch here where the stitch marker was is where we are going to be changing into the next shade so we are going to first create the first part of a double crochet and then you go into yarn over pull through two keeping that last one on the hook now you can release the yellow and you're going to be grabbing and getting the burgundy shade and with the burgundy you're going to be completing the double crochet just like that make sure that you pull the yellow nice and tight and also the burgundy once you've completed finishing the double crochet and now you're gonna go into the double crochet stitch so you're going to be skipping here the chain one going into the double crochet stitch and you're going to be slip stitching both sides together so we are going to be having a really really nice joining as you can see so now from here we can continue and follow the same steps as the previous round so we are going to be starting with a chain one and double crochet into the same stitch where you, where we've done the slip stitch and then the last double crochet will be the last double crochet stitch which is here if you want you can place a stitch marker so that you don't lose this stitch so now I'm going to be doing double crochet all the way around following the stitches making sure that you have all the 58 stitches covered with double crochets into that last stitch remove the stitch marker here is where we are going to be doing the changing of the shade so create the first part of the double crochet yarn over pull through two keeping the last one on the hook release the burgundy now you're going to be getting the yellow the other shade completing this double crochet with the next shade make sure that you just pull a little bit so it's nice and tight and then you're going to be joining here to the other side with the slip stitch into the double crochet stitch remember not the chain one you're going to be skipping the chain one make it nice and tight and slip stitch to close round so here we have the third round completed and now we are going to be following this same step to go up and create the length of our beanie but first i would like to share with you a little tip that i've learned to maintain all the beanie with the rounds on the right side because this one we do turn at the end we do make that little turn as the usual beanies so you want to make sure that everything is on the right side instead of having uh, the ending here on the wrong side and also you're going to be able to see uh, the changing of the yarn here too so the first thing you're going to have to do is to decide on the sizing of that turning part of the beanie i'm going to be doing five rounds for that so once i have my five rounds completed following the same step that i showed it to you previously i will be back and then i'm going to be sharing with you that little trick that i've learned on how to maintain all the beanie on the right side so as you can see i have my five rounds now completed and remember that you can do this a little bit thinner or even thicker depending on your liking and let me just measure the five rounds here for you so it's six centimeters in total of rounds that i have here at the beginning i'm measuring just if you are using a different yarn weight you might need to do less or more rounds depending on your your yarn weight all right the size and the thickness of your yarn so the tip starts from this very last stitch where we change the shade so you're going to be doing the first part before you change into the next shade and before you drop it you want to make sure that this yarn it's at the front of where you're working right now so basically on the right side of the project right now and then you're going to be changing into the next shade and you're going to be joining with the slip stitch here on the other side but now what we are going to be doing is turning this project on the reverse so what you're going to be doing is just turning it like this 
So if we were working this way, so you're going to just flip it and we are going to be working on the reverse. You can also just turn your project inside out as well. That's going to help a lot. So now we have the stitches kind of on the opposite direction. So this one that it's at the front is going to be the first stitch we are going to be using and the one where we've done the slip stitch is going to be the last one. So you can go back if you want and you can place a stitch marker into this very first stitch in which is going to be the last one we are going to be using. Just going to remove my hook from here. This one is going to be the last one, all right? And then we can just go back. From here, we are going to be working our double crochets. They all gonna be on the right side. And when you turn, this is also going to be on the right side, you see? That's what I love the most about this <laughs> beanie. So go into that first stitch you can find, create the first double crochet. So we are going to be following the same steps as we've been doing here. And also the reason why I've added the yarn here at the back is that it's going to be ready when you change into the next shade, you see? So go around following the stitches, creating double crochets, and then I'm going to meet you here at the end. And then where you have the stitch marker, basically the stitch where we've done the slip stitch, it's where the last double crochet is gonna go. So into that one, okay, you can see that stitch right there. We are going to be changing into this last double crochet you have to change into the next shade is already here at the back. So grab the burgundy, complete this double crochet, make sure that it's nice and tight. You can already leave the other shade at the back because it's easier to find later. And now here we have the very first double crochet is going to be kind of folded, but it's right here. You can always turn and we go a little bit around to get all the stitches of this stitch because it is a little bit hidden here. So we just wanna make sure that you get all the stitches. There we go. And then you're going to pull up a loop and slip stitch. There we go. From now on, it's going to be much easier. <laughs> so now you have what you had before. So keep on repeating, going around, creating the rounds until you have the length of the beanie you want. I'm going to be doing mine and then I'm going to be sharing everything with you once I'm back. So here I have all of the rounds now completed, as you can see, and I have 20 rounds in total. So I have five for the turning at the, at the bottom here and then 15 for the actual beanie. And this 15 rounds is going to include also the little ears because we are going to now sew the top of the hat close. So you can see that we have the joining of the rounds here. It's going to be pretty invisible, but it's going to be there, as you can see. Um, you can maintain the, the joining at the back, or you can do as I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be turning mine with the joining on the side, just like that. So just fold your project like this. So you can actually wear both ways so you don't have to keep on checking if you have um, the line at the back of the hat. So you can just put it on and the joining is going to be on the sides. And also the yarn is going to be ready here at the top and on the side so that we can now close and sew the top of the hat. So let me just measure for you if you are using a different yarn weight. It's important. <laughs> so here, as you can see, I have 23 centimeters for the length and also 23 centimeters for the width. So it's basically a square that you have to make. So fold exactly where you want it, well, there. And now we can try it on before we close to see if you like how the ears look. Good morning. <laughs> so here I have it. So you're going to put it on. You wanna make sure that it fits you really nicely around the top of the head, all right? You wanna make sure that both sides, they join really snugly 
and at the top it has to be nice and flat going around the top of your head it shouldn't have any space for example if i just pull a little bit it shouldn't have any space like this it has to be really nice and flat around your head like this and then the ears they are just going to poke out like that so here at the top for the sewing you can choose one of the yarns to do the sewing i'm going to be doing with the burgundy because i want to see the sewing at the top so it also creates a little detail um, contrasting the very last round in which is yellow so i'm going to be doing with the burgundy the other shade you can go ahead and cut it because we are going to be weaving in at the back of the project so to make sure that you have enough yarn to sew from one side to the other you're gonna have to do this way so get this yarn move all the way to the other side hold it here and then move that yarn to the other side hold it here move to the other side hold it here and move to the other side so once you have four times going back and forth the amount of yarn it's what you're going to be needing to sew from one side to the other that's a little tip as well that i can give it to you so go ahead and cut the yarn and now we can start the sewing i'm going to fasten off so put the end through the loop and pull nice and tight to fasten off and now you're gonna get your tapestry needle so you're going to be threading this yarn into your tapestry needle you can do the sewing on the right side or you can do the sewing on the reverse. I'm going to be doing here on the right side. So what we're going to be doing is going through one stitch from one side and the other stitch from the other and sewing the two together. It's that simple. And then from here, going to the next stitch, I start at the back and then I move forward. So both stitches from both sides and sew the two together. One stitch from one side, one from the other, and sew it together. So that's what you're going to be doing all the way down. So before you finish the sewing, make sure that you just pull a little bit the sewing apart like this, just to make sure that right at the top is nice and straight and it's not all bunched up. So here at the end, it seems like we have this space. So I'm just going to be covering by creating one more sewing going down, kind of getting this very last double crochet, just so that we have a last sewing here at the end and it looks even all the way across. There we go. And now we are going to be taking this yarn to the inside of the hat and I want to do as seamless as possible. So maybe we can go back into this stitch where we have already the sewing here. So it's not going to be that bad. There we go. Then we can see how that looks. Yeah. Yeah, that should be fine. All right. So once it's here on the reverse, we can start the weave-ins. All right, the weave-ins at the top inside the hat is completed. So now you wanna turn the hat inside out again. The sewing is going to be on the outside like this. And by doing the sewing on the outside is also going to maintain the hat nice and flat here at the top. And is also going to be creating the perfect cut here because it's going to be pointy on both sides, all right? So I still have to do the weave-ins here at the bottom. So I'm going to be doing this because it's only two ends and it's going to be out of the way. So we don't have to do this at the end. So now you can decide if you wanna keep it like this. You can leave this as the finishing, the double crochets. 
and your hat is now completed. There is nothing else you have to do. But if you want, you can add one last detail in which is creating um, a little detail around the bottom of the hat, maybe with single crochets or some peacocks or some shells. It's going to be completely up to you. I'm going to be doing some single crochets because I love, love, love adding finishing details to my projects. So I'm going to be getting my yellow yarn, the Ringo yarn, and I'm going to be creating a slip knot. So now you can choose any space in between the double crochets of this very first round. If you want, you can also use the little stitch, but I think it looks nicer if I go in between the double crochets. So insert your hook in between the double crochets, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. So here we already have the first single crochet. And then from here, you're gonna go into every space in between the double crochets, and you're going to be creating a single crochet, just like this. Also make sure that you're doing the single crochets when the hat is folded. I forgot to mention, but make sure that you're doing the single crochets with the end folded because here it's the right side of the double crochets and here is the reverse. So I got here at the end, just got one last single crochet to do. Now you have to find the very first single crochet. Into that single crochet, you go into slip stitch, chain one, and now we can cut the yarn, fasten off and weave in. So now we have to weave in these last two ends that we have here and our hat is now completed. So I'm going to do the weave ins and I'm going to show you how it looks like. So here we have it, just finished the weave in. And now we have our little cat ear beanie completed. How cute this looks. And you see how it makes all the difference when you add a little finishing, I don't know why, but I can never finish a project just like that. I have to add a little finishing. It looks so, so much nicer. And also it gives more structure to the end of the beanie here as well. So I really love that. And also I just wanted to add that you're going to be using in total only 66 grams of yarn for this project. So it's 33 for one shade and 33 for the other shade. So it's a very, very little yarn. So it's the perfect project to use your scrap yarn if you wanna sell uh, something that is trendy now and you have a lot of scrap yarn, this is the project for you. So I really hope you have enjoyed this super quick and easy tutorial. If you end up making this one, don't forget to tag me on Instagram so I can see your take on this one and also the shades you are going to be using. Remember that you also can use any other stitch you want. You can do with single crochets all the way across. You can do half double crochets. You can even do with treble, triple crochets. It's going to be completely up to you. You just have to follow the measurements that I give you throughout the video. All right, so I really hope you guys have enjoyed again today's video. And if you did, don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up as you always do. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can watch more tutorials like this one. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.